These two shirts right here, these two shirts are the exact same shirts. They're just different colors. They're both slim fit Northrop dress shirts from Target. And uh, one's been tailored and one hasn't. And I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you one guess as to which one is which. And when it's all said and done, we're gonna have taken in those side seams and uh, we're also gonna add some darts to the back as well to make it fit our lower back just mm, perfectly. Instead of looking all just poofy and stupid like most dress shirts do. Well, this right here, this uh, this is step one. And for this step, we actually just need some sewing pins and we need, uh, we need a measuring tape. This is actually considered the hardest part. But yo, it is so easy that it's gonna honestly put this whole project into perspective for you. You can do this whole thing in like 20 minutes or less and you're honestly going to be mad that you didn't try something like this sooner I guarantee you all right let's get our shirt ready and we're gonna start with our shirt right side in like uh, like we're wearing it to the club even though even though well nobody can leave the house right now not not inside out at least not yet we got to take our measuring tape first and uh, we got to measure it now my shirt is roughly 16 inches or, or 41 centimeters for all my European guys uh, from the bottom down here all the way up to uh, the armpit seam and I'm gonna put five pins in here that's ten five pins in here as kind of uh, as temporary placeholders depending on the size of, uh, of your shirt and the length of it it, it might vary a little bit so if you put four pins in there or if you put six pins in there instead of exactly five it's totally okay it's not a big deal it's totally normal now I've got my pins all in here going from the bottom to the top I have a pin at one inch I have a pin at four inches I have a pin at eight inches another pin at 12 inches and this last pin up here is at 16 inches. And if your measurements come out a little bit differently because let's say your shirt is bigger or it's longer, again, that's totally okay, it's normal. If your shirt ends up being, I don't know, let's say 18 inches or 20 inches, whatever that is, just keep going up in, uh, in intervals of four inches. Now these pins right here, what, uh, what are they doing? Well, they're currently doing absolutely nothing. We wanna use these pins to completely transform and change the appearance of this dress shirt. And uh, being strategic with these pins will allow us to do exactly that. I personally like a more V tapered uh, V shape to my dress shirt. So I like the pins in the middle here to be pushed in farther into the shirt than the bottom and the top pins. These ones here I come out have uh, I have come out a little bit farther to give it uh, give it a nice hourglass shape. That gives me the fit that I want and the fit that I'm looking for. But yo, this is all about you right now. This is where the sky is absolutely the limit. If you want your shirt tighter or looser in certain spots, then kind of play around with these measurements and the location of all these pins until until you. You get that fit that you're looking for. Well, here's what I'm gonna do on this shirt. On my shirt, I've got a half an inch for this first pin down here at the bottom. This pin is one inch, one and a half inches, one inch, and a half an inch. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This side here, this side is good to go. I did the exact same thing. And I'm not doing the sleeves on this shirt. The sleeves are actually okay. But what you want to do for the sleeves, well, hang on, let me, let me back up a little bit. You can absolutely tailor the sleeves on any dress shirt and what you would end up doing is you just keep pinning all the way up here through the sleeves in the same increments of four inches. But be super careful because it's so easy to make the sleeves on your shirt way tighter than you were expecting. I've done it a thousand times now, it's super annoying. Now that we got pins in both sides here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna try it on and we're gonna see if we like the fit. We're gonna see how we feel about it. If you're comfortable with it, then you're good. You are good to go. But there might be a couple of these pins that, you know, they might kind of be a little bit tighter in some spots, looser in other spots. Yo, play around with this. Move them around until you feel good. Now we're gonna take these pins out and we're gonna flip our shirt inside out. Now we're gonna take the exact same measurements that we did before and we're gonna put our pins back in the same spot and I'm gonna show you what it looks like but when I put these pins back in here I'm gonna make sure to put them in the right way and by the right way I mean like they're facing the they're on the right side of the shirt and they're actually like facing the right direction my sewing machine it's gonna be right here so my shirt is gonna be fed through my machine just like that. So when I put my pins in here, I'm gonna make sure the head of my pin is facing that direction and the pointy side is facing that way. So that way I can just pull it out as I go along. All right, this side is ready to rock and good to go. And again, my machine's gonna be right here. So it's, 
gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna pull these pins out as I go along, boom, done. Now you might think that you wanna do the other side here, put the pins on the same side. Well, you don't really wanna do that. Here's the problem that you're gonna run into. Yeah, your machine is gonna be going through it just like that. Machine, na, 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 But when you get to the other side, my machine is still right here. Now I gotta move all this stuff over here. My machine is here. Well, look, you have all this fabric all down here, but all that free space all down there. So all this fabric just kind of gets bunched up underneath your machine. So you're doing your thing. Na, 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 Well, and then it's just getting all crumpled and it's annoying. Here's a super easy fix for that. We're actually gonna pin the other side of our shirt, just like this. So now, since we're gonna have our pins on this side of our shirt, we get the same thing, going through our machine, pulling the pins out super easy, the bulk of our fabric is over there, got all this free space over here. Sweet, it can just hang off and just do its thing and we're gonna be done in like, I don't know, two and a half minutes. Boom, just like that, we are good to go. We got our pins on both sides of our shirt here. This is honestly one of the biggest game changers when it comes to tailoring. The reason why it's a game changer is because you're going to go on a tailoring binge one of these days and binge tailor like seven different dress shirts. And when you do it like this, it saves you so much time from having the fabric just get all bunched up, your shirt get bunched up underneath your sewing machine. You can just fly on these seams. It is amazing. Let's uh, let's go sew this bad boy. SD out. See ya.